I just want to apologise quickly for not posting any videos lately. I unfortunately broke my laptop the other day so I haven't been able to get on and create anything. The computer I have as of now is loaned for a short time off a friend so I apologise if the quality isn't as good. Many thanks for your patience and I really hope this video helps you. Cheers guys. Forza Horizon 3 is a huge game. Every time you play it there is always something new to do and there's always something new to try. The game has an incredible way of grabbing your attention and keeping you from putting it down. One of my favourite things to do on this game is creating bucket lists. The possibilities are endless and it feeds my imagination greatly. What I'm going to show you today involves exactly that. But first, tell me, has this ever happened to you? Of course it has, it happens to everyone regardless of skill, it's just one of those things that can't be helped every now and then and let's be honest it's pissing annoying. So today I'm going to show you how to remove traffic cars and the AI festival cars. For the purpose of this video I'm using the incredible 240SX complete with the Rocket Bunny wide body kit and sporting this beautiful design by my good friend Forker Seaman. It's rear wheel drive, it's packing some serious grunt, it's perfect for what we're going to be doing. Right, let's begin. First, just simply pause the game and head over to your map. Then press on your filter button and remove everything except blueprint bucket lists. This shows all the locations in which you can create, you guessed it, a bucket list. For me, I love Surface Paradise, so I'll be using this one up here. Simply fast travel to the destination and click on it. Then go to create new, set route. You can literally place this anywhere, just make sure you don't drive to it. Then it will ask you for even more settings. Make it so traffic is turned off. Rewind is absolutely optional. Weather and view, everything is also optional. Then it will ask you for music. To not get raped by copyright, mine is set to off, but it really doesn't matter as this can be changed when you load up the race. And there you have it. That's literally it. Simple as that. You will notice once it loads up in the top right hand corner you have 30 minutes before your session runs out. More than enough time to let off some steam and explore without anyone hassling you. It's just you in the open world of Forza Horizon Australia. I really do hope this video helps you, it really is fun to just kick back and have some sideways fun. Let me know what you think in the comments below, feel free to like and subscribe, your support truly means the world to me and hopefully I will see you for the next one. Take it easy guys, bye bye!